This man, Dick Gregory, is going to be at the Improv. Good morning, and thanks Thank for being you, here. Thank you, brother. Peace to you. It's fun, fun. Likewise. Last likewise. night was the first, first time I've been in that club. It's fabulous. Now, you've fabulous. been here to Houston before. Oh, God, yes. Been in Houston many times. Well, you know, you've also been here, let's say, for battles against injustice and also corruption, yep. which is outside of the comedy yep. vein. Well, you, you see that. That's America, but we don't, we don't want to admit it. We do stuff in this country that make Hitler blush. But white folk don't want to believe it. Huh? That's how Marie Antoinette, that's what happened to Hitler. They kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. And the next thing exposed. So if you look at Donald Trump, you know, he's going, let me, let me show you something here what, while he's getting people. This was in the, the Washington Times, you know, Washington Times. Mm -hmm. Terry Nichols' home markets was being paid for by the FBI. Now, I know that, but the New York Times don't know it. Huh? <laughs> and then when you talk about the election, the Wall Street Journal, the night I ran in 1968, they had to shut all the computers down because it was credited me with nine million votes in Pennsylvania. Wall Street Journal. Yeah, a lot of folks forget that you did run for president. Oh, Winter. yeah, and okay. had I won, I'd ask for a recount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, what do you think of the presidential race this year? You know, you've got Trump, you had Rubio, well, you've got Cruz, you and they started doing some... No, you understand Trump if you understood George Wallace, when he came north, he found the same type of racism that was in the South. That's why they shot him. They didn't shoot him, just shoot him. They was trying to kill him because he was about to mess up the apple. That's why it's still here. Okay, re real quick. What about Bernie Sanders on the other side now? Well, Bernie Sanders, he had a problem with black folk because he's in the state. He ain't never had no barbecue ribs in his life. He don't even know how to eat watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But he's saying what people want to hear because they scared. Huh? The same way Hitler came to power. Scared the people and then anybody could come through. Your, your political commentary has basically survived for more than 50 years yes. on the stage. What do you attribute that to? The newspapers. Uh, read the newspapers to get the crack in the fabric. Ain't no way in the world I could know certain things. When Kennedy was here in Dallas, the car turned down Elm Street. That car wasn't supposed to go down Elm Street. So how did Lee Harvey Oswald know to get a job there when it wasn't supposed to come down there? A lot of things you bring out to the public. Okay, tonight, what time's your show at the Improv? Starts at 7.30, 8 o'clock I come on. Okay. And, and it will be fun. And it's just one show. One show. All right. Well, we should appreciate you coming Thank in. Thank you, my brother. the best of luck in our community. Peace to you. A lot of folks do love you here. <laughs> I know that. Thank <laughs> you. Right. Thank, Thank you, you much.